drums? Yeah, yeah. Okay. so I grew up playing African drums, djembe, oh. and then marching snare. I was in like a marching band as well. No way you're yeah, in the yeah, Oh, yeah. no way. The snare, yeah. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Hey friends, it's your girl Emily Curl. We're here in New York City at our iHeartRadio studios and we're hanging out with actor Shamari Love. Shamari, it's good to see you. Likewise, thanks for having me. This is your first time here, so first we're excited time. to have you. But you are not new to New York. Nope. New York is home for you. Yep. So tell us a little bit, where'd you grow up? Queens, New York. In Queens, yeah, okay. Yeah, so native to New York, I've been here most of my life. Uh, other than work, I travel a lot, but when I'm not traveling, I'm back in New York. At this point, do you feel like you know the city in and out? Does anything still surprise you about living here? Uh, that's a great question. It's like, it changes so often. Like, there are the landmarks that never change. Um, some things I remember from childhood that don't change, but I feel like every couple of years that I come into the city, something's different. Yeah. It's a new building, but I mean, I love it. It's part of New York. Everything keeps moving. It's funny because like anytime we have an interview here, like a lot of people, artists come in from all over the country, all over the world, and they come here and one of the first questions they always ask us about New York is what has the best pizza? Uh, <laughs> and I feel like you being a New Yorker, what would you say? The best pizza is probably hands down in Brooklyn. Is it? What, what is Brooklyn. it? Do you uh, have one? I don't remember the name of the spot, but I think it was in, um, it might have been Flatbush. Oh. It might be flat, but it was okay. like one of those old school mom and pop pizza that's shops. That's what you need. Like the greasy pizza. Yes. We had to <laughs> dab with the napkin. Yeah, that's the best piece. <laughs> I love it. Uh, well, you're here, you're talking about some projects you got going on. So you're an actor and actually right before we were rolling, we were talking a little bit about your process. Yeah. It's always so interesting to me, you know, I interview artists and we do a lot of like album releases, but what you're doing is a whole different type of art. Yeah. So let's start with your project, Cold and Windy, that's airing right now. Tell yeah. us a little bit about this series and the character that you play. For sure. So Cold and Windy, is a drama series on Wii TV uh, centered around like the drill rap scene in Chicago. Uh, the character I play is Dirty. He's one of the main nemesis or rivals to Cold and Windy. Um, they have like a long outstanding um, rivalry, turf rivalry that's going on. And I'm a part of a crew and the person whose crew I'm a part of, Shelly Winter, she's also an artist uh, in the Chicago drill scene as well. So there's a lot of tension in the show, a lot of twists and turns that happen throughout the season. Yeah, it's so interesting. I mean, Chicago is such a big hub for music too. And you yeah. talked a lot about doing research for your roles, like that, wherever you audition. Yeah. What research went into preparing yourself for this role? It's very different. I mean, I grew up in New York, right? So I grew up around hip hop. Yeah. I grew up around the scene. Chicago drill rap is very different from hip hop in New yeah. York. Um, so just learning a little bit more about that culture specifically and you know what motivates some of those characters and motivates like what goes behind those lyrics. Mm -hmm. I was able to find some common ground because a lot of hip hop, you know, people are really expressing themselves, right? So I was able to find common ground in expression and expression as an artist and as a human being and just taking that to the character to understand like what moves this character and like what got him to this point like why is he the way he is now and like why is he so few like what does this music do for him because he's also like a producer in the show um for the artist Shelly Winter so it's like you know what keeps him grounded what makes him passionate about music and what has he been through to get to this point Oof. Yeah, so it was a lot of homework for him yeah a lot of homework so so yeah so to get into that mindset I mean that's twofold yeah for the music what music were you listening to and then we're gonna go to the producer angle because that's yeah. a whole other ball game for sure uh, a lot of a lot of popular artists in Chicago Little Dirk yeah. So a little Dirk, a lot of little Dirk, um, definitely. And I kind of mixed it up as well, like just to get an understanding of like different production. I listened to like Chief Keef as well. And then some of the modern artists, like the, the young, I guess younger artists in Chicago, um, they played a part of it as well. But the show has a lot of original music as well. So I had an opportunity to listen to some of the original music that was written for the show to kind of channel that also. Yeah. yeah. So you've been in a lot of other shows, mm -hmm. including Emmy nominated uh, The Shy. Yeah. You have a, a couple other ones. Are there other are roles that you typically gravitate towards? You said it right, The Shy. A yeah. lot of people don't say The Shy. You, you know that. You know what's funny? It's like I had to triple check before. I had to you tell you whatever right. it is. I was like, yeah. making sure. She got it right. Thank um, you. For sure. So The Shy, you know, what's interesting about The Shy is that was my first experience in two to the city like and seeing what it's like like hands on yeah. um i think it was great preparation like who i never knew i was gonna have this role down the line of course. Right? but it was great preparation um and you know roles like that ultimately like help bring authenticity to these characters yeah. um being able to like be immersed in the culture to a certain extent to really understand what's going on yeah, yeah. And we were just talking about this too. So right now the show is airing. Mm -hmm. And so you're kind of in this stage where you're figuring out what your next role is yeah, gonna be. Yeah. For you know, those watching that don't necessarily what goes know what goes into like being an actor, yeah. what what does life look like for you right now? It's a long process, right? So um other than actively being on set when I'm not working, I'm studying. 
right? So I train in the conservatories. I'm always taking acting classes, just trying to fine tune the graph, just get better and better every day. Um, and then there's always the projects that are coming out. So I have things that are, you know, in the works and that are coming out as well that kind of keep me on my toes. Is there anything that you've learned, like, you know, in these classes that you're taking, you're in acting school, that like you, you use in your everyday life that's maybe just a small oh, man. thing? Yeah, I mean, I mean, in this business, like in this world, we, we're just, we're people, right? So we study yeah. people. I think I've, I've developed a skill for understanding people even better, um, understanding human beings and human nature even more. Um, as I mentioned earlier, like even with my character, just to understand what drives that character. I don't come from that background, but being in class and some of the skills that I've been able to learn helps me better understand these people, right? Like, yeah. wh like what ticks, what makes people tick, like what motivates people, what drives people. I often find myself watching people, like even here in New York City, like it's the best place to do it. Oh, it's the best. So many different people, different personalities. You can learn so much in one day in New York, like probably more than you can learn anywhere else. The best part about New York too is like, you can really see some characters. Like you, you really can see do. some eccentric people. Is there anyone that you've met, like that you're like, you would make a great character, let me, let me do this. You know what's funny? When I, um, my most recent film, Take the Night, um, yeah. that was in theaters this past summer, the character that I played, Shannon, he was once a basketball star and he got injured and then ended up like literally his entire life turned around, right? So when I was doing research for that character, I spent time in Manhattan, in Central Park, watching people. Wow. Literally just like, hmm, I wonder what their life was like before. Yeah. Or you know what I mean? I wonder what this person's life is like now. Yeah. Or what might they be going through? How can I channel that? So yeah, hands down there, most characters that I play, if there isn't, like if it isn't a biopic and it isn't a direct storyline, I will take things from what I observe, real life. real life. You have to, we're yeah, human beings. Of so. course, yeah, very, like, have you always been observant? Like, I'm sure that requires, or yeah, is it through I training? Think so. No, yeah. I've, I've always been observant to an extent. I've, I've always been an artist, um, so I've always had that eye, but through training, you learn how to really fine tune it and yeah. you learn what to pay more, like, close attention to. Did you always know you wanted to be an actor? Is that always? No, I didn't. Um, I've always, like, my mediums have been different. Um, I've always painted, I've always played instruments. Um, I think acting came later. Later on, I realized like you know I do have an ability, and I was just very interested in learning more and like just literally going into the unknown and trying something I never did before. Yeah, yeah. but you have the musical background. What, what did you grow up playing? Drums. Drums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. so I grew up playing African drums, djembe, and then marching snare. I was in like a marching band as well. No way, you're yeah, in the yeah, oh yeah. no I way. The snare, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna find some old videos. We're right. gonna pull them up. <laughs> oh, so you saw the music background. Is it is that something that you'd ever want to like get into? Like, I mean, no, you're, you're playing like a character who's obviously in the music world. Yeah, is I would that love to. Part? Yeah, I would love to channel that further. I would love to get a role that's solely focused on music and my character being like the main character in a music role as well. Um, who knows? Yeah, yeah. lots to see. Okay, last question. Speaking of music, yeah. we're iHeart, so we've got to ask. Okay. You know, who's at the top of your playlist right now? Who do you love? Drake. Always. Drake. Drake always. Drake. Is, right now. I mean. All time, tough, very tough. Uh, right now, the last decade is Drake. Yeah. Yeah, lyrically, delivery wise, content, um, diversity in terms of the genres of music he puts out. Yeah. I think he has it, yeah. When you're like, go, this is, okay, building off of that, mm -hmm. when you're about to like do a scene or you're yeah. going to say you have to like get really in the zone. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I would do. Like who, like what, what song do you put on to like get you hype? This is like your hype song. You're about to have an intense scene. Yeah, um, when it comes to that, it's, it has to be a collab. So Drake, whenever he does collabs with 21, with yeah. 21 Savage, 21, you, can you do yeah, 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 yeah. So some of the new stuff, <laughs> Rich Flex is, yeah, Rich Flex is so big. Um, Jimmy Cooks, like Jimmy Cooks, that stuff. Any, any Jake, Drake collab, any of his collabs with 21. That is like your hype. That That's gets your me hype in song. my bag, yeah. Yeah, it gets me in my bag for sure. I love yeah. it. Oh, sure. This has been so fun. Okay, so before we let you go, tell us where our audience can watch you, what yeah. they can see, and if you have any upcoming projects you can tell us. Yeah, so currently I'm in Golden Windy on WeTV, which airs Thursdays, and then Monday on All Black. Um, Take the Night is available for streaming online. Um, I have an upcoming film called On Our Way with Jordana Brewster, so be sure to look out for that. And then I'm available everywhere, Shamari Love on social media. I love it. Yeah. Okay, so when is that new project coming out, you said? We don't have a date yet. Okay, yeah. but we look, gotta look out for but it. And what's it called? Across, it's called On Our Way. On Our Way. Yeah, it's more of a uh, romance drama. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. are you the love interest? I do play her love interest. Shoot. In film, so, yeah. Okay, okay, it's a lot to see. Shamari, thank you for being thank here. You. So great chatting with you, we appreciate it. And again, thank you all for watching. Make sure you look up Shamari Love on all socials, and we will see you here next time in our iHeartRadio studio. Bye, guys. Peace. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye, guys.